Back already? You've met with Jing Yuan and wandered around for a few hours. So, what do you think? It appears that the Divine Foresight is using this war dance as a show of strength to convince everyone that the Law Fu is prospering after the Ambrosial Arbor Crisis. But... I know you're going to say but, right? But... the influx of people attending the war dance is like a breeding ground for disorder and rumors. One wrong move, and the Law Fu could be in a world of chaos. The Cloud Knights on the streets remain vigilant, so at the very least, General Jing Yuan is aware of this. As for other matters, I'm unable to say. I'd prefer to be excused from future meetings with generals. I'm just a military healer, and now all of a sudden I'm thrust onto the center stage having cordial chats with two generals? My work doesn't lend itself to being in the limelight either. Just stop whining. At least you're in one piece, right? Before getting in touch with General Jing Yuan, I wanted to put aside my assumptions and see his momentum. That includes the overall bearing of the Cloud Knights on the street, what people are saying, and how those close to him behave. The might of an army dwells not within its pawns, but within the force of its collective momentum. Recognizing this fact reveals the true measure of power. <laughs> Thanks for enlightening me, General. A perfectly clear statement turned confusing thanks to your translation. <sighs> you made me lose where I was now. Anyway, this is how I operate in battle, so you might as well get used to it. Are you treating General Jingyuan as your enemy? The longest serving general of the Xianzhou Law Fu. Do you think he'd have only a few enemies? By the way, General, you met the healer lady, yes? Could you show me the medicine she prescribed you? Well, the healer lady couldn't do anything about my condition. She just told me to enjoy some tasty food. So not even the famed healer lady could help? Don't worry. I'll fulfill my promise and find a way to cure you. Actually, I found some leads. Well, life and death, Zhao Cho. It's all predetermined. Upon starting my military career, I made a pledge that the rest of my life would be dedicated to being the Xianzhou's spearhead. Hunting down the abominations of abundance till the end of my days. As long as I can fulfill that deep-seated desire, I don't care how long I live. You asked if I view General Jin Yuan as my enemy. No. My real enemy has always been myself. Enjoy some tasty food. So, what's for dinner tonight? Jeez. You really know how to read the room, don't you? You guys figure it out for yourselves. I'm due to catch up with an old war friend I've not seen for quite a long time. <laughs>